This far out from the sun? People don't give a good goddamn what planet you're from. My mother, she raised me respecting language and being interested in language and, I mean, taking language and the study of it seriously. Well, the language in the books is, is a placeholder. It's to give you the idea of, okay, here's this language, but it's not really language. It's, uh, it's words tossed together. If I had had to stick with what they'd done, it would have been an impossible project. I wanted to, you know, really pay respects to the languages that this made-up language is, is inspired by, and those are, you know, Creoles. There's Haitian Creole, which is considered by linguists to be a very, like, archetypical Creole. <laughs> so Michelle DeGraff, who is a, an MIT professor and um, Creolist, and he's, he's Haitian, and he helped me with making sure that um, what I was doing was a, a real sort of Creole-like experience. To use the linguistic term, the substrate languages um, uh, spoken by the African slaves, uh, coming from West Africa, then you know, coming into contact with the super straight language French, um, it is actually very similar to the situation uh, that is you know going on in uh, the Expanse. The main difference the, between Belter and actual Creoles that exist is that Belter has a lot of substrate languages. Normally, you would find you know two or three. I mean, you have. Chinese, you have German, you have Spanish, you have well all the Romance languages, you have Zulu, you have Polish and Russian. And actually there was a point where I used a Ukrainian word instead of a Russian word. Miller says to Gia Tochuyeke, that's uh, Pochuye is, is Ukrainian. Privately, I have about a thousand words uh, and I'm releasing a word of the day every day uh, on Twitter. Of course, it's not literally slavery, but it is, it's economic slavery. And the character's name officially in the script is Gaunt Belter. And one of the worst, first words that I came up with uh, for Belter is Tolchu, which comes from the Chinese, which would mean beast of burden, but with some semantic drift, ends up meaning slave. Okay, man. Schooling me on gangsters, okay? Yeah. But many of them are, are dirty words because Good. those are titillating, right? Yeah. So I was tasked with coming up with belter words that could be okay now. 200 years from now, they're going to be censored, but now it's <laughs> <laughs> The word for asshole, or just like a person that you don't like, uh, is inspired by um, modern Hebrew slang. So in their... To say penis, you say design, which is uh, the Hebrew character which kind of looks like a penis. I'm going to go with J, which would be a very curved, crooked penis. And that would be a terrible thing to have. I mean, you really wouldn't want to be the guy with a crooked penis. So that's where I got the word J-Mang, because J would be the crooked penis and Mang. J-Mang. There was a point where... Um, Gia, you know, tells Miller, like, fuck off, cop, and, and Belter, that's Pesheng Fong, Zako Mang. So Zako, it, it comes from, yeah, it means law in, in Russian and other Slavic languages. And I went through a tally, and I actually eliminated anything with an F or a K, just because that would be too much, like, fuck already. Yeah, like this. You see that coming? The gestures were developed by an Italian because, I mean, an Italian really has <laughs> my one contribution, which unfortunately hasn't yet shown up in the show, is a gesture for disgust. Um, and it comes from uh, Colombia. Say you have two women who are talking and uh, one of them asks her friend, like, hey, Ana Maria, how was your date? And she goes, mm. <laughs> it means that the guy it means that the guy was a cheapskate because he couldn't bend his arm down enough to reach his wallet <laughs> so in 200 years 200 years this is like I'm so pissed off and disgusted right now I just went through looking at a lot of different words from a lot of different languages trying to find something that I liked the sound of that also had a meaning that I could justify and I ended up with Pasheng uh, and again, you know, Gia, uh, the actress, I mean, she did a great job with sounding pretty pissed. I mean, you know, Pasheng <laughs> Feng. And it, it comes from Chinese, and uh, it means to mount. It's a very, like, normal, everyday word, just like you're going to mount a bicycle, you're going to mount a horse. Uh, but in the belt, it means you're going to mount somebody else. You can't have um, a consonant cluster. Totally okay in English to go fra, free. Mm -hmm. But in belt, you can't. They 
put a, a vowel in between the two, so it's like Fetty. There is definitely, um, in terms of what the music is described as in the books, it's, uh, it, it's very fusion. There is a song that exists that is recorded in Belters that <laughs> it is in episode one. It's that Black Keys song that you hear a little bit of. And that I translated into Belter, and they're singing it in Belter. Ginger K, not yet, but I would drag my... Watch out! Uh, 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 it was decided not to have subtitles because if you're walking down the street, and we're all Earthers, I mean, that's just what we are. <laughs> uh, if, we were, if we were walking down the street on series, we wouldn't understand it. Like, and that is the experience that we as the audience should be having. So, for example, in episode one... Patch. Well, voila. What is well, voila? Traitor to my people. I mean, that's a great opportunity for introducing it and then saying, okay, this is a, this is a foreign word that you're not supposed to understand, but we're really going to tell you what it means. The guy who speaks better belter than me is the bartender, and unfortunately... <laughs> <laughs> that's always how it is. Yeah. I mean, he's... Speaking it, it's impressive. Me pirate, me rum wall at the OPA. Cal Tim, welcome at longitude. Cal Tim, coping load of me. Everybody is my friend. At the Miloda Tenya Wong Cocktail Natarash. Break it the bush, break it the bush. Rum, naranja, lime, shaker shaker. Mmm, so, you know. Come by longitude. One of my favorites is uh, using um, some syntax from Semitic languages to disambiguate between possession and uh, compound nouns. So if you wanted to say, um, you know, my drink, you would put it in a particular word order. And the word order being that first you would say drink and then you would say just me. So, Yam Singh me, my drink. And actually, if you switched it the other way and you said me, Yam Singh, that would just be I am a drink. Sabaka. <laughs> <laughs> One of the toasts that we would have is uh, May the thrust not cut out in the middle of your drink. So, Yam Singh. Yam Singh. So do you get to talk to any of the show creators about what's coming next? Like, do you know before we do, like, what's happening? I do, but I can't talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to tell you anything, ninjas would come down and kill me. OPA, do the belt! Do the belt! Do the belt! I got drinks to make.